Welcome to my first vegetable garden. This is my second YouTube channel. My main YouTube channel is the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today we're going to profile Purple Passion Asparagus and Mary Washington Asparagus. And I'll go over a couple of tips for growing asparagus, obviously. So this space from here all the way down is about 15 feet. That's pretty good for actually family of two to four, depending on how much asparagus you eat. You can see Purple Passion this is a bit too tall. Your asparagus is going to come out of the ground like a basic um, asparagus spear that you see in stores. If you let this continually grow, it will fern out and it turns into really a four foot, five foot tall plant. I'll talk about more about that at the end. So asparagus should be harvested in its third year. These beds are on their uh, fourth year, I'm able to harvest pretty regularly. What does that mean? If you start seeds indoors, asparagus grows really easily from seeds, or you buy roots, you put them in the ground the first year, year one. Second year they come back, you're gonna get spears that come up. You could sample them, but let them go for year two. You really want the root system to establish. And then on the third year, you should start getting something like this and you can harvest them pretty regularly. And typically, Maryland Zone 7, we start harvesting later April and then through May. You want to stop harvesting, leave several spears coming out of the ground so the plant grows tall, ferns up, collects energy over uh, June, July, August, September. Let it die back naturally. That recharges the roots for the final year. So. This is pretty much ready to harvest. You want to harvest them at about 12 inches. Just get a knife blade cut into the soil. If they get too big, you can just bend them like this and they're going to snap. They're nice and tender right where they break. I'll cut this in half. That'll be plenty. And I'm just going to go down and do that for all of them. You could cut the rest of the stem off as you get there. Here's the Martha. I'm sorry. I just want to say Martha Stewart, but it's Mary Washington. These same thing, snap, and that's about the size you want to harvest them. You can come back, cut these off later. I tend, I tend to just leave the base above ground. Continue moving down. Now these can actually grow, you know, one or two inches in a day, especially if, it's, if it rains, it's pretty crazy. Now these are a good size, you know, that you would want to... Now that one's kind of tough, interesting. So I'm going to let that one grow a little bit more. That one snapped. That one snapped down at the base. It was kind of tough, didn't break, and it snapped up here. And that's just an easy way to know where it's tender. So let's just pull these out now. More spears are coming up for these, same thing. Just snap right there. Now because, and it goes all the way down, you know, towards the end, and you can see how tall that one is right down there. I'm gonna pull that too. So you can see you get a lot of spears uh, asparagus spears in the fourth year. Early May, today is the fifth, you can harvest a lot of them. Let me just show you. This is enough for a meal right here. As we get into the middle of uh, May, towards the end of May, I'll start letting some of the spears continue to grow so that they're going to grow to full size like I was saying and, and they'll recharge the root system. If you have a good eye, you might have noticed a couple of mushrooms. Those are wine caps which are seeded through my garden. They're edible too. They're all in here so when everything works out I can have asparagus. Let me spin around right here and wine caps. It's a good uh, side dish for most of your meals. Anyway, I got distracted. So when you're planting you want it to be in a fairly well draining area. This place gets um, a little bit more moisture than I want. I'll be replacing some areas right in there where there's no asparagus coming up. I'm growing some new stuff now. Loose soil, add in compost, whatever you want. Just set up the bed, get the plants in. For fertilizing the first year, I use a lot of water-soluble fertilizer just to help them get established, get going. And then in the second year, towards the end of fall, I'll put two inches of compost down across here, let that sit and work its way in over the winter. And then in spring, before I put a fresh layer of mulch, another two inches of compost across here, maybe give it some water-soluble fertilizer, whatever organic granular is on sale, I'll sprinkle it right down across the top put the mulch on, and then I let the asparagus do its thing. These beds, once established, are good for really 10 or 15 years. Don't overdo it. The span of, 
maybe 10, 15 feet is perfect for a family of two to four, like I was saying. These grow really fast, so you gotta be harvesting just about every other day when they're coming up, or they're gonna get to, you know, 12, 18, even two feet really, really quickly. But just use the trick of bending it. They're gonna snap where they're tender and you'll have plenty of asparagus. Thanks for watching. Hope this gives you some idea of what asparagus looks like. Something you may want to try in your garden. And again, it's Purple Passion and Mary Washington asparagus. And please subscribe. I'll be doing profiles of every vegetable out of my garden this year. Thanks for watching.